So the big question is this, how do small business owners like us grow our leadership, develop our teams and scale our business in a way that allows us to get our products and services out to the world yet still remain profitable? That is the question and this podcast will give you the answers. I'm Bradley Hamner and this is the Club Capital Leadership Podcast. Welcome to The Bottom Line, a new weekly podcast series that we drop every Thursday to complement our weekly Monday podcast interviews with the industry leaders. These podcasts are going to be designed to give you short, impactful, and value-driven information that you can start using right away in your business. I value your time and attention and will do my very best not to waste it. Just get what you need and go. So with that, let's get into today's episode. I love music. I'm not a huge Beatles fan, but let me take you back all the way back to 1964. The Beatles are at the height of their music talent and career. Everybody in the world is going crazy over their music. All of their concerts are sold out and they're obviously making more money than they know what to do with. So today's episode is called Write Yourself a Swimming Pool. And the reason I tell you all of that is because apparently by story or folklore, I guess. Paul McCartney tells John Lennon, let's go write ourselves a swimming pool. Apparently, Paul McCartney or John Lennon won. We're talking about that they wanted to be able to, ha- be able to have a swimming pool in their backyard. Now, they clearly had plenty of money to be able to do that. But they said, you know what? Let's go write ourselves a swimming pool. And so they went about the work to then write a song that ultimately that they could sell and use that money to go and build themselves a swimming pool. It's actually Paul McCartney used to say, or as I've read a couple articles about this, one in Rolling Stones, he said, you know, people used to say that we were anti-materialistic. He said, we used to literally say, let's go write ourselves a, a swimming pool. And they used that as motivation. And so how can you use write yourself a swimming pool as motivation or inspiration in your business. Look, I think it's Dan Sullivan that says, you want what it is you want. And so whether that's a new watch, I I, I like nice watches. Uh, If that's a watch for you, if that is a trip with your family overseas, if that is a new backyard oasis, maybe that literally is a swimming pool for you. I was actually doing this exercise with some business owners just the other day. And uh, it was three founders. And one of them said, you know, actually, I really have always wanted to put in a swimming pool. I've always wanted to have a saltwater pool in this backyard oasis. And I got her to give in detail what it was that she wanted. And she did. And I said, let me ask you a question. I bet you have a Pinterest board with that. She said, yeah, actually, I do. And so she pulled up some images of it. And I said, well, you know what? You need to have that printed out. Because ultimately, as a business owner, you can use that as fuel and motivation, but it needs to be in front of you. And so whatever your swimming pool is, maybe it's a a trip to go play golf at Band and Dunes with you and some of your closest buddies if you want to. By the way, if you've not been, if you're a golfer and you haven't been to Band and Dunes, you're messing up. So definitely do that. Um, Or maybe it's a new vehicle. Maybe you've wanted to be able, always wanted to be able to buy a Tesla. Saying that and saying you want what you want, as Dan says, and then I think that some people call them vision boards, but print that out, put that on your desk in front of you. And if that ultimately is not the thing that's going to motivate you, and I understand, listen, many of you are motivated by, inspired by other things, and I get that. But I think oftentimes we just don't allow ourselves to be able to, well, I can't verbalize that. I can't say that. You know, that's not the right thing to do. You know, am I, am I being a bad person by saying that, you know, I would love to be able to do these things in my business so that ultimately I can buy myself a, a nice new car? Maybe it's not a Tesla. Maybe it's just you want to buy a new Ford pickup truck. You know, those trucks are expensive now or whatever that may be for you. Okay. Maybe it's a trip to go see some relatives in Italy that you've never been able to see before. Ultimately, look, you get to do things. You don't have to do it as the business owner. So the big question is this. 
How do small business owners like us grow our leadership, develop our teams, and scale our business in a way that allows us to get our products and services out to the world, yet still remain profitable? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. I'm Bradley Hamner, and this is the Club Capital Leadership Podcast. Welcome to The Bottom Line, a new weekly podcast series that we drop every Thursday to complement our weekly Monday podcast interviews with the industry leaders. These podcasts are going to be designed to give you short, impactful, and value-driven information that you can start using right away in your business. I value your time and attention and will do my very best not to waste it. Just get what you need and go. So with that, let's get into today's episode. You've heard me say many times, business is hard and it gets harder. And so I think if we don't allow ourselves to be able to use the business and to say, hey, I want to I want to anchor this win, so to speak, to something tangible. I think we're missing out. Uh, some of the business owners that I've you know worked with, they've been able to sell their companies and uh, exit pretty large. And you know, you don't have to be necessarily materialistic, but I think there's something about you know uh, buying yourself a trophy. Again, whether it's a car or a watch or a new house or a vacation or whatever that may be, you know, allow yourself to write yourself a swimming pool. Okay. Many of you are incredibly successful. And I know I get messages from many of you. And so you can go out right now and you have the funds to buy with cash or even take out a loan. But I think it is really valuable to be able to uh, almost speak it into existence in a way. But don't just have it in your head. Actually, take the time to print it out. Take you know five minutes to look and what's the image of that backyard oasis, that swimming pool, or that destination, or that watch, or that car, or whatever that may be. Maybe it's a nice new office for your building. And then say, okay, now what is it going to take for me to get that? What needs to happen in reverse engineer success? What needs to happen? in order for me to be able to do that. And I'm not going to buy that new car. I'm not taking that trip. I'm not buying that, building that swimming pool until this happens. And I think it's going to take me six months, 12 months, two years, whatever. And depending on how big the thing is, it may take you some time. Okay. What needs to happen in order for you to do that? And I think if you look at that vision board or you look at that picture, on a daily basis, I do believe that your subconscious uh, will go to work and will find the ways to make that happen. And I bet you it will happen a lot sooner than you think. Write yourself a swimming pool. What's your swimming pool? Lead well. If you're listening to this podcast, I know you're someone who has a growth mindset. You probably want to be able to grow your book of business as well. What Direct Click specializes in helping insurance agencies leverage Google ads and SEO to drive inbound phone calls, leads, online visibility, and even organic traffic. You can be confident in knowing exactly how well your ads are working and getting support in what really matters in your business. Get exclusive online marketing support today when you visit directclicksinc.com. You know how important it is to develop yourself and to to develop your team. Well, if you're going to do that, you want to do it with the best. Work with Coach P Consulting to learn and implement the same strategies that he used to sell over 700 life policies in 2021 alone. You'll get personalized coaching two times a week and an in-depth look at how his office is run. And Coach P will train your team alongside his own. Get your first month free when you mention the Club Capital Leadership Podcast during sign up. Visit coachpconsulting.com to get started. If you've listened to this podcast for any amount of time, you've heard me say many times, the best use of money is to be able to buy back your time. And one of the best ways to do that is by hiring a virtual assistant. Whether it's an executive assistant or creative marketing assistant, Rocksod has a unique hiring process to net the very best talent. And they intentionally match you with a great fit for you and your team. They value your success as if it were their own, because it is. If you're looking to build a rock solid team for your business, reach out to Tracy and her team at rocksolidassistance.com.